What's up guys, Steve Bazagan here from Keller Williams, Philly's real estate agent. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about quite an interesting topic, the one that comes up quite a lot. People who, who are, you know, always trying to get into the real estate investing world and they're always trying to get into, you know, flipping houses and they wanna make that quick, quick profit um, that usually isn't really that all that quick or nor is it many times it's not even a profit either. So I wanna give you guys three quick facts as to how to do real estate investing the right way. Um, and then, you know, I'll kind of wrap up the video so it's not too long. Uh, the first thing, uh, realize this, prices are not what they're like on HGTV. They're just not the same. You don't have finger painters with million dollar budgets. It's not real. Um, also, fixing up a house does not cost 30 or 40 grand. It costs like 130 grand or 120 grand or 100 grand or more. Um, you know, many times, oh yeah, you can flip the whole house. You just put 30 grand into it. That's no big deal. Not the case. 30 grand gets you a kitchen at best. Um, sometimes it's more than that, depending on what, you know, high end or low end, you might be even like 40 or 50. I've seen kitchens personally for that in a high end luxury home in uh, Society Hill, I was in a kitchen that cost 120 grand. That was just the kitchen, nothing else. So do not mistake prices in real life for the prices that are on HGTV. Second, you want to screen, vet, and hire a team before you start the house search process. I'm not saying before you buy the house. I'm not saying when you go under contract and then between being under contract and then buying the house at settlement, you look for people. No, have the team in place before you even start looking. Vet the person, make sure the contractor is good, make sure they have references. If they can't provide references, dump them. There's a bunch of other things I can talk about. I'll make another video on how to pre-screen a contractor. No problem. But you've got to have your team in place before you even start looking. It's super huge. Your contractor's if not pre-screened properly, they will get about 60 to 70% of the way done and then they'll leave and then you'll never get the job finished. They don't care if you're losing money. They made their money and they're out. So last but not least, prepare for the unforeseen. And when I say prepare, I mean budget. Budget for the unforeseen. Make sure that the homes that, all right, let's, this applies more to renovations as that it does new construction because new construction, you're building from the ground up. There's nothing really there beforehand because so you're actually just starting from scratch. But for the for the homes that are, you know, reno they, need re they need renovations, there might be somebody who did some, you know, silly, goofy work with the plumbing in the past, and you've got to undo it re and then redo it the right way. Um, prepare for that stuff. I would say budget maybe an extra 5 to 10%. So if you think your repair job is going to be 100 grand, it's, just say it's going to be 110 grand, just to deal with the unforeseen um, and budget for those. So I hope you guys got a good, I guess, good value out of that, those three tips. Um, if you guys have more questions about real estate investing, let me know. I'll be happy to help you out. I flipped five homes myself. I've been down that road a couple of times before. But, uh, you know, like I said, hopefully you guys got a lot of value out of that. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.